Ty Gibbs ends his dirty winning weekend at Martinsville with a series of dreadful interviews, including one in which he awkwardly compared himself to Jesus. One interview finds him making bizarre statements, while another finds him acting like a robot. Want to know more about what Ty Gibbs said at the press conferences at the Martinsville event? Then stick to this video on NASCAR Today. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. No one can deny that Ty Gibbs has been a success in his first full-time Xfinity Series season based on his on-track performance. But Joe Gibbs' 20-year-old grandson has had a number of behavioral issues. He has repeatedly demonstrated his immaturity through his aggressive actions on the track and his frequently unconvincing responses to the consequences of those actions after they have occurred. He has been a lightning rod for controversy, and many would argue that he deserves it. This weekend at Martinsville Speedway, the JGR driver's bad behavior escalated, starting with his last lap try to dump teammate Brandon Jones for the win. Then the youngster gave two terrible interviews. Gibbs made matters worse at this weekend's playoff cutoff race at Martinsville, where he is still remembered for punching while wearing his helmet. The program noted how Brandon Jones had previously announced that he would go to JR Motorsports in 2023 when Joe Gibbs was racing against him in the final laps. He showed it at the final restart of overtime when Jones got a great launch and a solid push from Sheldon Creed, raced ahead, and claimed the white flag with Gibbs right behind him. A few seconds later, Gibbs crashed into the back of the number 19 car, sending the JGR car up the track and into the wall. Gibbs passed the vehicle and won the race. NBC's broadcast crew called Gibbs' maneuver dirty and confusing because it eliminated his buddy, who would have proceeded to the final in Phoenix if he had won. After Gibbs did a big burnout and turned off his engine, supporters booed as he stepped out of his car and stood defiantly on the door. He made odd claims and compared himself to Jesus in two interviews. After his network aired Winner's Interview, in which Gibbs was hardly audible over the boos, he visited Claire B. Lang of Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. She asked him about the booing supporters during their conversation. Ty Gibbs said he will always come back to the same verse, which says that Jesus was reviled more than any other person among all the people. That certainly plays a role in it. As a professional athlete, you have to learn to tune out the noise of the crowd in order to concentrate on your game. It seems inevitable to me that some of the most talented people will be jeered, but he supposes that's just part of life. It is not fair to allow the judgments and ideas of other people to influence how you behave or make you feel about yourself. It's an inevitable fact of life. A few minutes later, Gibbs convened a meeting with the press in the media center and proceeded to deliver one of the most robotic press conferences in the archives of sports history. It should come as no surprise that the reporters were interested in discussing the final lap and they bombarded the driver with questions about the incident. During the press conference, Gibbs was asked a total of 11 questions, some of which included whether or not he would talk to Jones and whether or not he felt bad about his move. Surprisingly, he answered 10 of those questions with the same response over and over and over again. At each and every occurrence, he described how Jones had initially moved him, how he had moved Jones back, and how he hadn't intended to wreck him. But this was not the first time Ty Gibbs did something like that, his aggressive behavior has been creating trouble throughout the year. It is our sincere wish that Gibbs will be able to grow from his experiences and actualize the promise we see in him. What do you think about this robotic behavior of Ty Gibbs? Keep the conversation rolling in the comments section below. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to NASCAR Today to see more of our incredible videos.